You can see this two-footed driver over here in front of me. He keeps dragging the brakes. That's how you can tell that it's a two-footed driver. They go through a lot of brakes and then they wonder why they're always going through brakes thinking that the shop didn't do the brake job because they're too pretty driver. So I had this guy sent me several messages. Then he sent me one that said I'm, I'm in town. Is it too late for an appointment? And it was about 4 or 5. I quit at five. I don't do any more customers after five. And so, anyway, I said, no. And, uh, so, I said, you, you want to come right now? And he says, sure. So, I told him where to come. He said, I'll be there in ten minutes. So, I waited for a little bit at the gate. Didn't come, so I went to go do some more stuff on the other auction storages and uh, so he um, I'm going to go take a shower man. Oof. strange sky this evening so he was an oriental guy he seemed kind of nice nice truck yeah. a Toyota truck it was like military green and uh, so I have a couch that has to be sold, and um, that uh, I was selling for a friend. It wasn't part of my auction storages, and I told him I'd be happy to list it because stuff will like fire. And uh, it's just extra money. Oh, that sky looks wicked. So anyway, um, he he sent message. He was there, and I met him up at the the gate and brought him through and let him look at the couch and he, it's a real pretty couch it's it feels like real suede but it is not I mean it's really a nice one and uh, it's got two recliners in it so um, I told him he was welcome to take it out and set it out so he could look at it some more if he wanted and uh, it's in 90% in good shape it's pretty decent for a used couch. So anyway, he um since I figure out what I'm gonna do. Uh <laughs> I think I might jump on this Wi-Fi over here in a second. So anyway, uh can't upload anything but I can look at things. So anyway, um he uh says so the price is lit up and I'm like yeah I hate when they pull that crap. It's like, you know, buy it or don't, man. Don't, why would you think I put a price on it and not be that price? And so, anyway, he, uh, I'm, you know, waiting to see what he wants to do. And he's spending about 10 minutes looking at it. Then he, uh, he says, well, uh, was it a military man that owned it? I said, I don't know. I said, I buy auction stories. They don't tell us all that stuff. You just bid and buy. And if you win the bids against the other people, it's yours. They don't tell us the history of how long they've had it or who they are. Or what they did for a living, or how old they are, or what race they are. It's just a unit. It's all you're bidding on. You learn a lot after you go into the unit if you find important documents and stuff. I'm one of those that I get all their pictures, all their important documents, uh, and uh, I, I put it in a container or bag and Put the number of the unit on it and give it to the complex so that they can call the owner and tell them to come retrieve their valuables. Um, they had one that was auctioned that had somebody's ashes in it and uh, they wanted to get that back to them. But anyway, that's pretty cool. So, um, anyway, they uh, 
he, he kind of didn't want the couch. And then he wanted to start asking questions. And it's like, you know, I go through this all day long, you know, person after person, you know, to purchase whatever. I only had um, two people, three people jerk with me today. They were supposed to be on the way down and, and um, that was kind of lame. But anyway, he was like the only one that really did show up. But I was so busy trying to get these storages sorted out and emptied out and all that because I wanted to at least get one unit clear today so it could be rented. And um, um, because the manager really wanted to get them all done today, but that wasn't going to happen. Because she, she told me that, you know, she would give me time and I'm busting my butt on all these units and, and the, the auto repair ones are the worst. I spent the most time on them to try to get them ready as they be. But now reversing out to try to get these other little ones out. They're smaller than those those big giant ones and get them gone so that they can be rented. But anyway, so uh, he says, so uh, what do you do? You 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 buy buy storages and then what do you do with it? I said, well, I you know sort them out. Get the important documents and belongings back to the original owners uh, through management, and uh, I sell everything. He says, "So you make good on that?" I said, "I do fine." And he says, "Well then, so how's the biz?" I said, "Well, I mean, it just depends on what you get. You never know what you get." And uh, cause see, they don't let you go inside. The units you can only stand at the door line that's it so it's not like you can walk through and say oh let me look in this box you can't do that you buy in from the door so if you just so have to see anything then you know it's your, your best guess you know so uh, anyway um he said, so how much was this unit? And I said, you know, it was good price. And so then he kind of gets the idea like, well, you know, really? So then um, he says, uh, I says, I have, you know, a bunch of other units. So I have all kinds of stuff. He says, you got tools, power tools? I said, yep. And uh, he said, okay, I'm interested in those. He said, I don't think I want the couch. Okay. So lock that one up. Take him to Cross Complex to this other unit. And I've got all these boxes sorted out, cleaned, organized, and priced. With stuff in them. And uh, they're open crates. And all nice and neat. And I walk him through there and he says, How much was this unit? I said, well... I said, this one rents for 400 but it's already reserved. And uh, I said, here's the items right here. And uh, so, you know, I said, and also I have this door over here for sale and those boat trailer parts. And uh, so he kind of walks across and he goes, oh, okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> Leaves. So, I hate when people waste my time. I really do. Because, um, you know, I, I could be still sorting stuff out, organizing, moving stuff around. So, I don't have as much as I planned on having. I thought I had a way more. And I'm real happy that I don't. <laughs> the stuff that I'm probably keeping. Uh... I thought I had a whole lot more, so thank God I don't. But, um, anyway, uh, I'm trying to restrict because I don't want to get into buying any more storages, well, renting any more storages, because I'm trying to save my money to get a place. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm debating on, on a storefront right now. But anyway, so... Uh, 
I had another guy that jerked me around with about 30 messages the whole day, and I was ready to block him because it was a pain in the butt. And he uh, he says, well, uh, he wanted the Riffin stuff. I got a bunch of big, giant commercial rolls of Riffin. I got eight rolls. And he's like, uh, I got I had them $15 a roll yesterday, and they're $200 rolls each. And uh, today I took them down to 10 And uh, the guy sent me so many messages. So many, all day long from early morning. And uh, he sent me one message that says, How about I give you 20 for all of them? And I was like, Well, you can go to. Lowe's or Home Depot or commercial supplier and get them for $200 a roll. And, uh, so, these are big commercial grade. They're just, they're like, you know, really big. They're really, they're like this, the, the, the size of a human body, but about two foot shorter. They're humongous commercial rolls. But anyway, so, um, he got quiet for a little bit, and then he said, uh, okay, I'll give you $10 a roll, and I'll take two or four, he said. I think, I think he wanted two or something. And so, uh, I said, well, let me know when you're ready. I'm with a customer. And, uh, so about 20 minutes later, he said, uh, Okay, I'm ready. I said, all right. I said, are you in town? He says, yeah, I live by something or other. Blah, 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 blah. They always give me all this extra information. Like, I don't even care. You know? And for me, it's like, what time and cash and see you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't have time. I've got to get this stuff done. So, uh, you know, I just sell it as I go. So anyway, um, he, uh, he says, okay, I'm ready right now. I said, all right. So I give him the location. So I wait over by the gate for about 20 minutes. Nothing. Nobody, nothing. So I sent him a message. I said, 15 more minutes, and uh, I've got to take a, another customer that's waiting. And, uh, so then he, he waits about 10 more minutes. And he says, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, yeah. And this morning was the couch thing. This girl kept sending me a bunch of messages. Okay, I want it. Great. And then, uh, she sent me some more messages and then and then finally around and that was early this morning and then finally around um about one or two she sends another message that says uh well we just have two little cars so can you deliver it lol And, uh, so I just blocked her. <laughs> now, I don't have time for those games. I really don't. So, I just blocked her. I don't like when you dance me around and send me, you know, 25 different messages through the day. And, and you're not, you know, coming or, uh, you know, you actually don't have a way to move it or you don't have the cash or... You know, I don't have time for all the fun and games. I've got to get this stuff sold and rolled out, or I might have to start renting the storages they're in. And that's a deal. They're supposed to be cleared out. Normally, they only give you a couple days, but I worked with management on this one because I had bought so many units, and so many were a mess, full of stuff, um, and a lot of cleaning and taking trash out, that... Um, uh, you know, it was going to take time. 
so uh yeah so i have to work constant in the heat i mean it is so hot mother of god is so hot moving stuff around hauling stuff around and all that so uh and I, this one unit's really bad with that meth in it and i've got to spray everything can't touch nothing everything's got to be sprayed and um wiped down and um you know there's a bunch of those crates in there that they stole and I'll have to spray those down so that I can even use them to put stuff in whether it be for sale or I'm keeping it uh, so you know it's a lot of work a huge amount of work because that one's so doped out um, but I've almost got it knocked out I'm probably at around half right now on that unit it's a 10 by 20 so, I've really got a lot of it knocked out. But, it's just so much cleaning. Clean, clean, clean. Spray, spray, spray. So, um... And that one's got a drone in it, too. So, anyway, um... And the other one, uh... I've got to have the guy haul some stuff to the dump for me. For some real old TVs. Um, well, they're the ones that, they're the square ones, they're not the flat screeners. And, um, those just aren't worth anything to me. So, you have to pay to take them to the dump. They have a special dump for the TVs like that. And so, those have got to be removed. There's two of them in one unit. And then, the, um, really cool rattan couch. I still haven't found any cushions for it. And there's one piece of furniture on top of it. They might be laying in there. I kind of think they're not. And um, so if they are not in fact in there, then that hot bed rattan is of no use to me. But it has all that metal in it for the bed, which the scrap man will love. So we'll probably be able to break that apart and he can take that metal and the other parts I can throw away. But uh, um, yeah, um, the thing is I need to get to that big boy recliner because it's a nice shape and would be great to sell that would work out super good so um yeah and always search furniture before you get rid of it always search the cracks and crevices just like a car you need to go down and take the seats out and look through and make sure there's no jewelry that fell down i've found gold bracelets in cars before and um but anyway yeah, so, um, trying to get it knocked out, I just wish we, I could get rid of the, the roofing materials because, um, they're in my way. <laughs> but if I get some of that other stuff out of that one unit, then I can move the roofing materials around so that I can get that recliner out, search it, and, uh, make sure there's no jewelry or anything in it, and then, um, uh, or money, um, because like that one dresser in another unit had gold coin in and uh, it was a two-pack coin and so the other one may be laying in that dresser somewhere but uh, um, I've already taken all the drawers out of that one but anyway uh, so I want to get that big boy recliner sold ASAP that'll go real quickly it's, they're very 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 expensive when they're big like that they're like extra wide and all that and uh, that should sell real well, real quick. So I just need to get it listed, and I can't photograph it right now. But I got my important stuff out of there, my little treasure chest of Makita. Cleaned all those up, went through that. That's a neat, neat deal there. So got that done and, and out of there. Because if you don't move it, then they try to go through it and all that. And when you go, nope, it's not for sale. You know, you, you just don't need them to see all that. Uh, and then I've got one that's got a big box of pills, all kinds of pills in it. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it's better as we go along. Oh, boy. So, um, yeah, I'm beat. I, I quit a little early. And, um, that one unit, they've tried to break into it twice, and they poured acid over the, the, um, lock sets. So yeah they tried but i've got all the major valuables out of there i found this whole very 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 old 
stamp collection today. I'd walked by it a thousand times. I thought that, you know, I, um, uh, I thought it was just some book and I set it to the side to have time to look at it. And so I was trying to get all the stuff off that dresser so that, that dresser can be hauled out of there and give me even more room. And, um, so I picked up that book and, and cracked it open. Because any books, I always shake them. I had a friend of mine, she used to get high, Geraldine, and she told me one day when she was working the bar, she said, Man, I found me $3,000, and you never believe where it was at in my own house. I'm like, huh? She says, yeah, I stuck it in a book. <laughs> she says, I must have been high that day, and I was like, oh my gosh. So I always shake books to see if anything comes out of them. And, um, uh, but I didn't, that big book, it was a really big book, and, and it was real old, and when I opened it up, it had really old stamps in it, and a stamp collection. So I went, oh, another one. I mean, I got baseball collection out of there, st stamp collection out of there, coin collection out of there, massive amounts of jewelry, um, used and new with appraisals. Um, you know, pretty intriguing. So, so, you know, a lot of that stuff, I don't have time to play with it right now, so I just box it up, and I'll have to go through it later to do the resellability on it and stuff. But, yeah, it's pretty wild. So, that was what today was like. Um, and, and I wish I could have got that couch sold. But I'll do some more price adjusting every day till it's gone. And uh, other than that, I'll donate it to the church or the mission and then use it for tax write-off. And I, I actually make more money doing that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Treasure hunt on. I love you.